Hello everyone! Welcome to 4B's English lesson video. I'm Kevin, and today we're going to talk about this expression, aircon. Can we say aircon in English? Well, what do you think? Actually, it depends on who you're talking to. Aircon, which of course is short for air conditioner or air conditioning, in America or Canada, we never say aircon for air conditioner or air conditioning. Instead, we will say AC. So I'm American. When I first came to Japan and someone said aircon, I didn't know what they were talking about. It was pretty confusing. However, for British English speakers, so Britain, Australia, New Zealand, they do sometimes say aircon but they also use AC. So, if you're going to talk about aircon, be a little careful who you're speaking with. Most Americans or Canadians, that sounds a little unnatural. For us, AC is better. But British English speakers, it's fairly common, so it is okay to use that. However, another important difference in America, but also in Britain, Australia, air conditioning or air conditioner is only used for when it's blowing cold air. If hot air is coming out, we don't say air conditioning or air conditioner. Instead, in that situation, we'll say heater. So, if you say turn up the AC or turn up the air conditioner, for us, that usually means you want more cold air, not that you want a higher temperature, which can be pretty confusing. Also, I sometimes hear students use cooler for talking about an air conditioner blowing cold air. Again, both in American and British English, we never use cooler for that machine. Instead, a cooler is the box you use, maybe if you want to keep your drinks cold when you go on a picnic or go to the beach. So, mm, cooler is never okay, no matter speaking to American or British English speaker. So, we have to be careful about these differences. Now, going back to aircon, of course, in Japan, it's very common that if you have a longer word, you shorten it and use abbreviations to say it quicker and easier. In English, both American or British English, it's probably more common that we use letters. So AC for air conditioner or air conditioning. However, there's one important exception that's very different. When I first came to Japan, I was talking with a student and I asked her, oh, what kind of movies do you like? And she said, oh, I love SF movies. SF movies? Well, I had never heard that before. I was really confused what she was talking about. Of course, later I found out she meant science fiction movies. And here in Japan, you take the first letters, S, F, as the short way of saying it. But in American and British English, we never say S, F. Instead, we use an abbreviation, Sci, Fi. So, Sci for science, the Fi for fiction. So, if you say an S, F to a native English speaker, uh, most of them won't know what you mean. You have to say Sci, Fi. Thank you very much for watching our videos today. Remember, if you'd like to see more English lesson videos in the future, please check out our channel. There are lots of videos to see there. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time.